Google AdWords Geographic Ad Targeting. Hello and welcome. In this video session, I'm going to show you the settings for geographic ad targeting. Whether you're creating a brand new campaign or whether you'd like to tweak and adjust the settings for the campaigns that's already running in your AdWords account. Both settings are the same, as in we'll be modifying the same settings. So you can tweak your current campaign, so keep that in mind. So let's just say we're creating a brand new campaign, then we end up having location targeting information here. As you can see, depending on the products and services, you can get into the language of Google's reach. So Google can reach millions of different websites in multiple languages. So we'll just leave English for time being because we're looking at location information. Here you can select all countries and territories, which is hardly recommended. Or you can say, let me choose. Let's press on advanced search. As you can see, because Google allows you to reach a global audience, you can say, OK, as an example, Australia as a country. I can add Australia as a country. Then you can see that it's targeting Australia in this example. I can say, how about New Zealand? Then I can say, you know what, exclude New Zealand. And we'll have this um, little icon saying, you know what, that's red, that's rather excluded. But we also have radius option. I can say, how about Melbourne, Australia as a city. Great for local businesses. I can change the settings here. I can say, how about 40 mile radius of Melbourne, Australia. Let's take a look at what's going to happen. As you can see, we have this r nice round radius targeting option telling us, OK, would you like to target that location? We also have location groups, which is obviously uh, an option for you. You may say, OK, my products and services. Let's press on places of interest. Let's say Melbourne, Australia. Show me. Melbourne, Victoria, Australia. Let me add that. Places of interest in Melbourne, Victoria, Australia. Now I can select the top. Now let's imagine you are offering uh, car hire services and you want to target people in the airports. Then you can select that option and say add that to my geographic ad targeting option. But you say, you know what? My products and services are ideal for university students, and so on. Then you can select that for Melbourne universities, target that. Or you have another option for central commercial areas of the city that you specify here. So as you can see, this is the power of Google allowing you to reach a global audience, right? But yeah, if you just leave the settings as such, then that's hardly the best option. Now, what I'll do, let's select all features as an example. Now, when we select all features, we should have, where is it, where is it? Yes, location options. Location options, obviously, is to do with geographic targeting. And this is rather important because the recommended settings may actually not be the suitable one for you, particularly if you're a small business owner. You'll have three different settings here. It's basically very intuitive, right? It's saying people in searching for or who show interest in my target location. Then we have another setting here. People in my target location. Now, when we select the middle option, people in my targeted location, 
then you're basically telling Google, you know what, that particular campaign, location targeting that I'm setting above, should be shown to people physically in my target location, instead of showing interest in my target location. Then we also have another setting, people searching for, or who show interest in my targeted location. So that is rather determined by the keywords or where they are located and so on. So this middle setting may be smart for you to experiment with, but you can always read through the question marks um, tooltips to learn more about it. Okay? And then we have exclude. Then as I've shown you, if you want to exclude a particular area, then you can select similar option saying, you know what, people in my excluded location, when you select that option, you're saying to Google AdWords, those people that I want to exclude through the location targeting, they have to be physically there for me to exclude them. Or you can select either one. So at the end of the day, let's imagine that you already have the ads running and you want to now tweak that setting. You simply go to your campaign, select settings, then you can simply edit advanced search and choose the one that is suitable for your ad campaigns. All features selected. Now we can play around with different settings. Actually, while we're here, let me show you view location info for the ads that is running. I can press on it. So when you run your ads, you can actually adjust your bids according to the locations that you're targeting. Increase or decrease by certain percentage. Let's say, let's imagine this scenario. I'm targeting whole of Australia and people in Melbourne compared to people in Sydney. So therefore people in Melbourne is bringing better results for my business. If that's the case, I can say, you know what? Increase my bids for people in Melbourne by 10%. Make sense? So when you end up having different location targeting, then you can really do different stuff with bid adjustments according to your ad campaigns. I thank you very much for learning with me. If you've got any other questions, leave a comment to this video and I'll talk with you in the next video session.